Okay, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for uh, R.C. Hibbler's Engineering Mechanics Statics. So we have this problem from chapter two of the textbook that's saying um, determine the length of the rod and the position vector directed from A to B. What is the angle theta? So there's, there's a few things to unpack from this question here. Um, first of all, it's saying determine the length of the rod. Um, and it's saying the determine the position vector. So what it's essentially saying is we're treating this rod that goes from A to B as a vector, okay? Uh, presumably a vector that's going in this direction since it's going from A to B. Um, note that the length of the rod and the magnitude of the vector in this context are the exact same thing. Um, and then when it's asking the, the angle theta, well, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? It's just the angle there. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, solve this problem. So you might start, as you typically do, by decomposing this vector into its x, y, and z components. So we can say, uh, why am I calling it F1? That's not what it's called. Uh, A, B. Uh, X its x component. Let's have a look. It's traveling four feet in the negative x direction, so we could call this minus four. Uh, a, B, Y. Uh, evidently, it's traveling two in the positive y direction, two feet. And its z component looks like it's traveling four feet up the wall, so we can call that four. So Using this information, we can answer this, this position vector um, part of the problem. We, we could describe that like so. I, I'm going to use IJ uh, K notation here. Uh, I've, I've written A, B with the underbar, the underbar to show that this is a vector. Uh, we can say that this is minus 4i uh, plus 2j uh, plus 4k. Okay, well, that's th th this position vector idea sorted. Uh, what about the length of the rod? Well, we can just use Pythagoras' theorem here. We can say that the magnitude of AB is equal to uh, 4 squared plus 2 squared plus 4 squared. And when we bung this in our calculator, this gives us a value of 6. Uh, okay, well, that's the length of the rod sorted. Uh, what is the angle theta? Well, when we look at this angle theta, evidently it's the angle between the rod or our position vector AB here and the x-axis, okay? Um, so the angle describing uh, that between a vector and the x-axis is, is, is typically taken as, as this alpha here, um, where we have a kind of formula for alpha given here. Um, let's go ahead and use it then. So we could say that the cos of alpha in this case is equal to minus four over six. So we could say, uh, take, taking the inverse cos of both sides, uh, that alpha is equal to the inverse cos of minus four over six, uh, which, uh, when we bung in our calculator gives us a value of um, 131.8, 131.8. Now you might take this value at 131.8 and you might think it's a bit of a surprise um, since when we look at the diagram, that does not look like a um, obtuse angle, which 131.8 is, right? It looks like a, a, an acute angle that's, that's smaller than 90 degrees. Um, what this 131.8 is actually describing is the vector's angle with the positive axis. So what it's really describing is this idea here, right, this angle here. So how could we solve for theta in this context? Um, well, it's not that hard. You can just subtract 131.8 from 180, and that will give us our result. So we can just say, um, therefore, theta equals 180 minus 131.8, which gives us a value of 48.2. Uh, okay, 
there we have it. So if you have any questions or comments about that problem, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.